All righty then, welcome back to the Educated Barfly, you guys. Today we're gonna be doing another Chris Day cocktail, one of my favorite bartenders from the Oakland, San Francisco Bay Area. That's what I said. Because someone said, because okay, so Chris Day is the is the the general manager uh, of, and I believe he does the cocktail program and everything of uh, Contiki. And then I said San Francisco area, or I said San Francisco, and then somebody commented that uh, they were like Contiki's not in San Francisco; it's in Oakland. I know that, and uh, so I'll say San, SF Bay Area. Bay Area. Yeah, SF Bay Area. Right. Okay. Or the Bay Area. Bay area. Or if I was gonna be cool, I'd call it the Bay. Anyway, uh, this cocktail is uh, really awesome. Just basically, uh, you know, kind of like a, it's called Donnie's Lament and it's like a St. Lucia coffee. We're using uh, the Chairman's Reserve St. Lucia spiced rum for it. So it is a testament to that. Um, uh, a St. Lucia coffee, I don't know if it's actual thing, but it seems like a thing. So uh, I'm assuming that's what he modeled this cocktail after. Usually I'm a little bit better prepared on the info for this stuff. Uh, and usually I have long text chains with uh, Chris asking questions about these cocktails, but today I just didn't do that. You know, I'm kind of going in a little uninformed, um, but it's gonna be a pretty fantastic cocktail. Not so, so educated you know. on this one. Not so educated. I'll, I'll say the, maybe it's the moderately educated bar fly for this par one particular episode. Today you know we're just I mean? a bar fly. Or just bar fly, or just like I'm a bar fly, yeah, you know. No, because barflies are like, you know, I don't know. There's a connotation there. We'll just say moderately educated barfly for this one particular episode. Uh, the other thing that I want to note here is that the coconut cream that I'm using today is a little bit different than the coconut cream that I usually make. Mm -hmm. I usually do a uh, coconut, unsweetened coconut cream, one-to-one -one with simple syrup. Uh, but today we're doing a two-to-one with simple syrup um, because... Uh, I was afraid there was a little fear that this cocktail would be a little bit too sweet with the uh, Giffard, the Banane du Brasil, and the uh, and the uh, the Mister Black. All right, let's get into making the drink. Uh, I don't want my pebble ice, my beautiful, beautiful pebble ice, to melt into nothing. Uh, so first thing we are gonna do is half an ounce. Why are you looking at me like that? Okay. Okay. Okay, okay there, Marius. All right, half an ounce of uh, coffee liqueur. Whoop. You seem like you want to say something, but you're not saying it. Mm -hmm. Are you sure? I mean, if it would be anything, it's like the ice is from the Opal machine. Go, go by. Oh, yeah. But, uh, Why <laughs> is it that you always want to plug that machine? <laughs> it's been, it's probably our best purchase. It has been our best purchase. It is actually the one thing. And we did promise to keep people informed if it broke or not. And, and it's uh, not breaking. It's, it's not breaking. It's going strong. Yeah, it's about a year now. And it's true. Going strong. Yeah. Okay, uh, half an ounce of the Giffard banana liqueur. And then the other thing is, I forgot to put it in first. I probably should have put it in first. Um, a couple dashes of Angostura bitters. Uh, we're going to do one and a half ounces of the... Uh, of the uh, coconut cream. Ooh, I'm getting a lot of texts, which means that uh, I think Chris Day is texting me back. Sh shall we get educated a little bit more on camera? Is it, Chris it is Christopher Day with nine, it's like nine text messages. All right, hold on, what does he say? This is what he says. Oh, supposed to be, oh, so first of all, it's not Donnie's lament. Hmm. It's actually Donnie's element. Okay. And his, uh, when he, when he emailed it to me, his, I guess his phone auto-corrected to lament. So the, co the name of the cocktail why is Donnie's he, Element. Why would he auto-correct element to lament? And then he said, just say St. Lucia coffee if you haven't already made the vid. But it's Big Lebowski. You're out of your element, Donnie. Oh, so it's a Lebowski. It's a Lebowski. Oh, I love that. On the dude's rug. Donnie, you're out of your element. Dude, the Chinaman is not the issue here. So it has nothing to do with St. Lucia. Okay. Uh, it has everything to do with the Big Lebowski and, uh, and a quote. I love that. I love that. Um, I, should I text him back that we're shooting the video right now and I'm reading these he'll, live? He'll see it when he sees the video. That's true. He will see it. Uh, and then an ounce and a half of the uh, Chairman's Reserve Spiced. So is this kind of a play on the White Russian? Then? Yes. I want to actually take this opportunity to tell you guys a little, give you guys a little lesson on... Um, 
pebble ice. So when I do my little skoshes of pebble ice, late, most of the time when I do it, I have been knowingly doing too much ice. And quite honestly, you really only want just like a couple few like that. And you can actually measure out an ounce of this ice if you so choose. You only need a tiny little bit, maybe a little bit more than that, but like a tiny little bit. And you're really just to get the dilution going and a little bit of the chill. But because this drink sits on pebble ice, you wanna make sure that it is mostly undiluted because it's gonna be sitting on this unstable ice. But you wanna bring the temperature of the cocktail down so it doesn't immediately start to melt as soon as it gets in the glass. So that's why you do the little pinch of ice. Right. It's just to literally get the temp of the cocktail down a little bit and to add the dilution that you need. And then you can do a little dump in your, what I like to call, well, not just me actually, a lot of bartenders call it. I wanna do this as I pour it because this is gonna be brown. A dirty dump. Was that gross or what? Huh? It wasn't kind of as brown as... Uh, it well, I called it a dirty dump and it was brown. I don't know. I was trying for something. Obviously, it didn't, didn't really go off uh, as I wanted it to. And um, so we uh, fill it up. Can you guess the thing that I'm missing right now? Why well, are you missing a straw? I'm missing a straw. Luckily, we got some straws in the mail today from Senor Andrew uh, up in uh, not the Bay Area, but he is up north of us. I think Santa Barbara, maybe? Anyway, uh, we're gonna do a little grated cinnamon. Should I, okay, so what should I do? Should I keep the camera rolling or should you keep the camera rolling as I go root around for a straw, just or should I just it sip the, it? Should I just, yeah, sip, just it? sip it? I like the Lebowski, get a little in your whisker, whiskers. I get a little in my whiskers? Where? No, Here? you didn't, but oh. Jeff did. Oh, yeah, and not only that, but actually now we're getting that nice, we're getting that nice uh, cinnamon vibe as we do this, because I grated all the cinnamon on top, which is really nice. Oh, that's a really beautiful drink. So, what is really, kind of fantastic about this drink is that it is completely balanced between the coffee, coconut, banana, and rum. You can taste all of those things, both separately and together, if that makes sense. That's sort of my, that is my marker for like a really masterfully created cocktail. If something creates a flavor on its own, like of its own with a blend of different ingredients, but then you can also pick out the different flavors separately and then also taste it as a cohesive whole. To me, that is like the goal of every single cocktail. It's pretty, I think that's pretty great. And that is what I'm getting here. Uh, St. Lucia coffee, I really like it. This is, um, so uh, Donnie's Element is the name of the cocktail for, well, we said it a couple times now, but I, uh, I, I, uh, I got it wrong because of Chris's autocorrect. Uh, earlier in this video, but uh, it is it is wonderful. I love it, and it's a it's a good Lebowski cocktail. It's like a good Lebowski. I feel like this is a really, you know, sit this down next to your White Russian, or have a White Russian, then have one of these, or double fist a White Russian and one of these, and you're going to be very very pleasantly surprised. I, I feel like I could drink this for breakfast. It's just so good. It's just so like, it's like creamy and rich and coconutty and banana y and coffee y and. You, you can taste that spiced rum in there. And I know all of you guys are gonna be asking me if you can sub the spiced rum. And yes, you can, but it's not gonna be the same. So just get the St. Lucia and, if you can. And if you can't, just sub it for something and be fine with it. And if you use Captain Morgan's, that's fine too. Anyway, there it is. Donnie's Element by Chris Day here on the Educated Barfly or Moderately Educated Barfly or the Barfly that was Moderately Educated that then got educated more educated later in the video when Chris texted Barfly. Yes. Yeah, that's the, so anyway, that's it. Uh, I don't know, that's all I got for you. If you like our channel, please hit like and subscribe. Check us out on our YouTube memberships. They're pretty awesome. We do lots of fun things there. You should check it out. And uh, there will be absolutely more fun things to be had on, on, the, on the membership tip. So you should get on it. You know what I'm saying? Do check it. out our Teespring. And I'll see you guys on another time!